Nortalans who want to vote for you, join Peter Obi. I find it very tells to Nugu. Now, I'm sure I find it very led by Pa Ayo Adebanjo had actually seen the handwriting on the wall. That is why himself, Obasanjo, and so many other uh, South South uh, chiefs and Middle Belt leaders have adopted Peter Obi. And the way things are going in the North, obviously the North don't want. Uh, Greater part of North don't want Tinubu. That is the truth. Right from time, even especially people around Buhari, they don't want Tinubu because they don't want, uh, they, they know the kind of person he is. Okay? So now, Fanny Ferrer is coming out to tell Tinubu, tell him that, look, the North, you are saying, they will not vote for you. They would rather vote Obi because of that or vote Atiku because Atiku is their own. But they will not vote you because they are from the South. They are interested in finding a way to make sure they retain power in the North. That is so the way I see it anyway. Okay, so let's hear what uh, Afani Ferrer has more to say about the advice that are given to Nubu here. Paayo Adevanjo, leader of the Pan Yoruba Social Cultural Organization, Afani Ferrer, on Saturday told the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tinubu that Northerners won't vote for him in the 2023 election. The Afani Ferrer leader who made this submission. Um, while addressing the crowd of supporters at the Labour Party rally in Ogun State, held at the Ake Palace ground in Abiyokota, urged Tinubu to quit the 2023 presidential race and support the Labour Party candidate Peter Obi. Adebanjo maintained that the North would disappoint Tinubu in the 2023 election and therefore advised the former Lagos State Governor to join the Obidati movement before it is too late. Hmm. Tinubu will never, will never step down. If a Milokon syndrome will never let him step down. He feels his stunt to be president of Nigeria. So he brought Buhari before. Now Buhari has served. Now it's his own turn. That a Milokon syndrome is what is driving him. He's a very selfish man and uh, he's a very egoic and egotic. So he sees himself alone and he he's desperate to get there. So there's no advice that will come to him that he will accept. Speaking further, Adebanjo maintained that the North would disappoint Tinubu in 2023 election and therefore advised the, further, the former Lagos State Governor to join Obidati movement before it is too late. Okay, He said, all those that know Tinubu should tell him. I have always told and I will tell him again, the Northerners will not vote for him. He, Tinubu, should come back Home now and support Obi because when they finally defeat him, he would have the courage to come back home again. If he comes back now, we will forgive him and take him back. Can you imagine? He described Labour Party as the new, na new National Democratic Coalition, Nadeko, adding that the LP is set to save Nigerians from the misrule of the APC and the captivity of the ruling class. I have told you before and I want to say it again. Labour Party is now Nadeko. Those of us supporting Obi are the ones that want good governance. We want Nigeria to be better. We want to liberate ourselves from the captive of the ruling class. Hmm. So this is what Padevanjo is saying. Okay. Advising Tinubu to shit his sword, leave that Emilocon syndrome, come and join Labour Party to, you know, to rebuild Nigeria. Telling him categorically. He said he told him before, and he will tell him again. And he's telling anybody that knows him to go and tell him that the Northerners will not vote him. They will disappoint him. And that is true. Even though he did not expatiate further on how they will disappoint him. We all know that the Northerners will vote Atiku. And even NNPP Kwakwaso is likely going to shut down his structure to support Atiku as well. So we know all of this. So the vote in the north is going to be between Atiku and Peter Obi. That is the truth. Tinubu, the only few persons in Casina and probably not even in Casina in Kano. That is the only state. And now all that secret in Kano and part of the north has been revealed. How they use uh, uh, children to vote, child voting and uh, and uh, uh, under age voting and uh, over voting. Okay, all of these have been happening in the north. They say they have population. 
Meanwhile, they were also importing machineries from neighboring countries to vote there. And all of that have been busted this time around and will likely not work again for them. Okay, so the vote in the North is basically going to be uh, to a large extent better than previous years and it's going to be for uh, Atiku and Peter Obi. That is the truth. Anybody following Tinubu is following to collect money. And that is why Atiku knows it. If you look at the Atiku's campaign strategy, he's not pulling out money the way he did in 2019 or the way he did in 2015. He's not pulling out money like that this time around because he has seen that he may lose and they are going to, he's going to waste his money. But Tinubu, being that he's very, very desperate, is careless. He's pulling out money, stretching cash, you know, believing that his money will buy him Nigeria. So he wants to buy Nigeria. That is the truth. By buying Nigerian votes, by influencing the electorate, uh, using financial inducement, he's automatically wanting to buy Nigeria. And by the time he buys Nigeria, by the time he eventually becomes a president, he's going to be more than a dictator because he will feel he worked for it, he earned it, and it's his money that gave him that place. That all the people that supported him, he paid them. So automatically he's spending to buy Nigeria. And the better Nigeria, the more the, the earlier Nigerians under, understand this, the earlier Nigerians realize this, the better for them. You understand? Because his desperation is off the roof, is into the skies. All right. His desperation has now led him to antagonize the Labour Party, antagonize PDP, now antagonizing Buhari and APC, and now has formed a cabal too. Because they say the cabal around Buhari are working against his presidential ambition. Now he has formed this cabal, and I'm sure Erufai is the leader of that cabal now. So we'll have two cabals in APC. Now one cabal for Tinubu and one cabal for Buhari. So Buhari, Tinubu has formed himself or uh, has, has made himself an opposition now in APC. All right? Has made himself an opposition in APC. And that is and uh, that is all these things are just because of desperation. So he believes he can win. But then a friendly fellow is calling him to order here. See, see, all these people that are following you, they will collect your money and they will disappoint you. All right. The Northerners will not vote you. Come back home now that it is early enough. If you come back home now, uh the the, the Eurobars and everybody that are ready to accept you and forgive you. All right. But if you don't come back home now, by the time the election is over and you lose, you won't have anywhere to come to. That is what Afeni Fere, uh, under the leadership of Pa Aya Debanjo, is telling uh, Tinubu now that it is early enough. Come and join the Labour Party and let us rebuild Nigeria. So pa, pa Aya Debanjo is likening this Labour Party to former Nadeko. That Nadeko was actually meant to rebuild Nigeria and they developed it. So right now, the same principle that Nadeko had is likely what uh, Labour Party is having now. And all of them that are supporting the Labour Party are the ones that actually love Nigeria and want the interests of Nigeria uh, to be protected and want to rebuild Nigeria. That is the truth. So anybody that loves Nigeria, anywhere meaning Nigerian, that wants the good of this country should come and join the Labour Party in order to rebuild Nigeria. So this is the message that uh, Afeni Fere under Aya Debanjo is telling uh, uh, Tinubu, come back now and join Peter Obi in Labour Party. All right, forget your own ambition because the Northerners will not vote you. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment below.